Let's start using the Vim editor. I'm going to create a file called my file. To create this file in my home directory, I'm typing Vim tilde slash my file. As you know, tilde is the universal sign that refers to your home directory. This opens Vim in command mode. As you can see in the lower part of it, it mentions the name of the file. And here it mentions the current position of the cursor. And here it shows I see all of the file right now. In command mode, you can type commands, not text. As currently there is no text in this file, it makes sense to type to go from command mode to insert mode, which is clearly indicated by the lower part of the screen. This allows me to start typing whatever I want to put in the file. So let's type some text. So that's enough. It's time to save it in a disk. Remember in Vim editor you always need to switch between input mode and command mode. In order to save I'll type colon w q exclamation mark. The w here tells the Vim to write the text to the file and q tells it to quit. And to make sure we don't get any warnings I'm adding an exclamation mark to the command. Then I press enter. As I press enter, the file is going to be closed and save. Let's open it again and have a look at some other commands. For example, dd. I put my cursor on a particular line. And I press dd. Look, the line is deleted. Well, it isn't actually deleted. It's copied to a buffer from where I can get it by. I move the cursor to somewhere else. And then I press P. I get the previously removed text back. And if you don't like my changes at all, I just type U to undo my last modification. And if I press U again, and again we reach back to where we started. If at any time you press U and you don't like the last undo, you can press Ctrl R to recover. Now let's have a look at something else. The manipulation I like about Vim is the command colon. Percent S followed by a slash and some old text and some new text and G. So this is basically replacing old text with new text. Let's try it on something useful in this document like colon percent s slash more slash less G. As you can see this works perfectly and it replaces all occurrence of more by less. You should make sure to use G at the end of the command. It means if you are looking for occurrence of a text more than one time it will be replaced all the times. You may also like Vim in visual mode. In order to enter in visual mode, we'll press V. The lower left corner indicates that. Now you can move arrow keys on keyboard to mark selection. Press D to delete it. And press U to undo it. We can also find text in Vim. In order to go to the top of the document, press GG. You won't see while I'm typing. Just type it twice in order to go to the last line. And in order to go at the end of the line, press dollar. And in order to go to the beginning of the line, we'll press caret. To find text, it's a good idea to start with the beginning of the page. 
and then type slash and whatever text you are looking for. You see it marks it in yellow. This is something you'll only see in Vim and not in VR. That's the way it works. And now if you want to search in opposite direction, we'll use a question mark. So let's type a question mark followed by the text we are looking for. Since I'm at the end of the line, I type question mark 4 and it takes me to that line. That's all. Now you can start editing text files with VI. Thank you.